So we're going to take a look at Riley, a golden retriever, who's in for training. Uh, we're about two thirds into his program at this point. And he was incredibly dog reactive. He's got a big social engine. He's an excitable dog, very typical for a golden, very typical for a young dog of any sort. That's Chappie, West Highland White Terrier. Riley, place. Good job, bud. Yes, very nice. So Chappie's pestering him to play and it got a little too hot for him and he wanted to dip out. I just gave him some guidance, sent him back to his place. He's good to go. Okay, that's the same thing as reacting to the dog, but you're seeing it in reverse, where now it got a little too tense for him. He says, I'll just leave. They're buddies, they play together a lot and Chappie's a little PO'd right now because she wants my attention. Right, chap? Riley, sit, good. So we've got big time distractions here. And as I said, Riley was a dog reactive dog. And at this point, he's so easy to handle around other dogs. And this is part of my, Brutus, Brutus. Brutus is not one of my trainees. He's just a boardy and, well, I'll let you figure that out for yourself. So he's not reactive at all at this point. He's a very easy dog to handle. And this is very often true with a lot of reactive dogs is we just have to teach them and, and communicate clearly what we want from them. A lot of times what people call stubborn is just misinformed. And that was certainly the case with Riley. His owners are first time dog owners. They certainly tried, did the best they could with him. There's such an abundance of information out there, but a lot of it is just kind of information that keeps perpetuating itself. Doesn't matter that it doesn't work. So people try the same things over and over and over and then they end up with less than ideal results, let's just say. So one of the big issues was Riley used to pull on leash a lot and he's a big boy. He's heavy, he's powerful, he's excitable. So you add that all together and it's a, it's a big cocktail, right? So we're going to take a look at what his healing looks like in a second. Riley, place. Good boy. Just a little verbal cue. Just a little reminder, finish your job. Dog says, okay. That's not a stubborn dog. And that's not even a big time reactive dog. Look at this, he's off leash. Chappie's barking in his face. Brutus is behind him, trying to get a second date. We got another dog that's ready to go back into the air conditioning. So there's, there's enough going on out here. And I'm maybe 15, 20 feet away. And he's holding down his job just beautifully. Riley, heel. <laughs> That's good. He's a very, very focused guy. I'll get a lot of attention from him. Good boy. Hey, can't ask for more than this. I have a lot of focus from him. A lot of eye contact. We got Brutus running interference here. It's a good thing Brutus's legs are only two to three inches long. That's a good boy. Sit. You are so good. You are so good. Hey. Yes, you are. Riley, heel. Don't run him. He can't catch you. Come on. Now we go super slow. Run and slow. Good boy, good boy. It's good. Hey, Chappie. Sit, good. 